Hello folks, this is Train Fever and I'm Colonel Failure. Uh, you join us in a period of grand transition. Uh, trucks, as you can see, are now available. We're in December 1903. My gosh, I hear you say. You have moved forward quite a long way. Uh, yes, I have. Um, largely so that you didn't have to hang around too much longer while I built up the money to get stuff done. Uh, so yes, there's a slight problem with this uh, changeover in tech, in that this truck can go quite a lot faster than that cart, but is being held up. So uh, as they're replaced, we should see uh, a gradual uh, kind of speeding up of those services. But for now, you get a slightly uh, incongruous uh, kind of queuing system going on. Never mind, it's all good. Uh, what else have we got happening? Uh, buses. Yes, buses. Uh, buses are also now a, a thing that we do. Uh, here we go. Look, there he is. The mysterious empty Mac bus. Marvellous. Get out of the road, you idiot. Um, splendid. That's all good. Uh, perhaps, you know, given that this is a you know, series about trains, the one that you're going to want to see the most of is the Mikado. Now, we don't have any running on the loop yet, but... Uh, Bish East here is certainly running one, and it's already made a pretty, pretty sizable difference to our income. Uh, I'll, you know, this is me bringing you up to speed a little. So we've got 36, we've got 80 capacity on these lines now, um, and a couple of the services leaving Maryport are uh, are doing a grand job indeed of getting close to that limit. Uh, yeah, so, you know, these have got a much higher top speed available to them. It's going uphill at the moment, so you probably won't see it. But, uh, you know, the previous was 60 kilometres an hour. It's, I mean, we're doing 66 now, and we're not at full tilt. We will do as we go down this roller coaster of track here. What the hell was I thinking when I put this down? I look at it. What a disgrace. Uh, you know... Isn't about Kingdom Brunel spinning in his grave. Um, anyway, yeah, there you go. So these are capable of 80, which obviously means that they turn around far, far quicker than uh, uh, the, the kind of previous engines that were running these lines. So let's have a quick look at the financial situation. Uh, I've skipped forward like three years, and, and, and in each of those years, we have done well. Uh, you know, 12 million, 13 million, 12 million. Uh, where are we? We're in March. Got 2 million in the bank for this year so far. Eh, we'll get more than that by the end of it. The major cost that we incur is uh, is upgrading uh, locomotives, upgrading, uh, you know, coaches and trucks and everything else. And that will continue to be the case for a little while. Uh, you know, we're... You know, we're at a point where things need replacing now, so we should expect that expense to come. But let's uh, let's uh, look to the uh, the project for today, which perhaps unsurprisingly is going to involve uh, the uh, the anti loop, uh, the loop heading out in the other direction, and hopefully we can do this in such a way that we don't uh, we don't crash, because that has been something of a, a theme. For, for the last couple of episodes, and I don't want to repeat it. Oh, right, there we go. Look, here's another one. Here's another Mikado. Uh, where are you running? You're running out to uh, to Bexley. Uh, 61 passengers on board, and of course, the more passengers you've got on your train, the more money you make when it arrives. Thank you very much. I'm stating the obvious. Okay, onwards. Uh, firstly, where am I? Holsworthy. That's close to Maryport, isn't it? Okie dokie. So, uh, yeah, so the the project we've got... Oh, look at this. Two trains on the loop at the same time in opposite directions. Beautiful stuff. Uh, yeah, so the, the project that we have uh, in store... I just want to have a quick look and see where things are going. The Bromyard Loop is the uh, new title for the, uh, for the, the loop that we're running. And over here, yeah, it's not inconsiderable. Right, uh, I don't think I've got the money to uh, to get the, the loop completed. Uh, certainly not if I'm going to be uh, replacing many locomotives, but that's okay. You know, every uh, every piece of track we lay is a is an improvement. I mean, I could just yeah, see. You know, I've seeded doubt within myself. You know, instead of doing this uh, double tracking of this loop, I could start another one. I could get another loop running in one direction, given that that will uh, that will help 
the existing loop actually get up towards its uh, its potential. That would be more interesting, wouldn't it? What do I want to do? Do I want to double track or do I want to... Well, let's have a look. Let's have a look at what our next, the next loop would probably be. I think we're talking about Neston out to Bexley, which we've already started, to Lisgard, Worksop, Guildford, and coming back again what do we think? Eastwood? Or no, let's go, we could go straight to Loftus, and then I want to do another route out through Loftus that goes to Eastwood, and would we go all the way, we could, yeah, we could go Eastwood, Guildford, Bishop Stortford, that's, that's a rubbish route, Loftus, Eastwood, Bishop Stortford, Nuneaton, Waltham Abbey. Okay, well, we need some thought on that one. Uh, let's uh, let's do it. Do what? Do what? You haven't you haven't made a decision yet. I'm going to. Well, look, we've already built Neston to Bexley, so let's let's carry on with this as a project. You know, you've got some expense involved here already, so you know, get cracking. Okay, so we're going to uh, immediately run the gauntlet of deleting a station. Uh, my new policy is going to be we build the station the first time we uh, first first build of the station is the station we need rather than the station we have uh, hmm, yeah okay so let's uh, let's traffic light this bad boy or well signal this bad boy yeah but the important thing is it's a, it's a bad boy right okay so that means that this section of track is now isolated here we go Cross your fingers. Do I save the game first? Yes, you save the game first. That way you guarantee that uh, you won't run into issues. All right, here we go. Bang, no trouble at all. Ha ha! Collective face in your. Uh, right, two tracks please, maximum length. And let's make it so it connects straight up. Uh, typically, we've got a get out of the way and like that there we go right back in business okay so that was running the uh, where are we here uh, let's get off that that's Neston to Bexley so nest Bex Bex nest to look uh, nope well let's just use trains that'll be easier um, mm, uh, mm, nothing on the list here. Meriton, I, I, I was sure we had. In fact, that train just let track down that train and find out what route it thinks it's running. You, what are you running? Nest Bex. Okay. Well, why weren't you? Uh, why weren't you visible? I demand answers. Nest Bex. Nope. Oh. Where are we? Nest Bex. Okay, let's call the route up. It doesn't have the route at the moment because it needs to go to Bexley Grand Central. If anything's going to crash it, this will be it. Uh, not that one, this one. Let's remove that. Oh, no, that's fine. Bexley up to that. Okay, cool. Game appears to still be in one piece. This is positive. Alright, next job. Get out to Lisgard. So, we're going to be talking straight lines here and it's going to be a tunnel and it's going to be expensive and it's not going to be profitable for quite some time because Lisgard is one of the smallest towns on the map. So let's pause and uh, kill these people that are in my way. Get out of it. <sighs> so expensive. So expensive, can't be helped. All right, let's 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 get across the river. And, you know, my safety tip here is uh, if you're going to be spending money on, uh, uh, you know, at ousting people from their buildings, hmm, what should we like? Yeah, we go stone. You know me, I go stone every time I get a chance. Uh, yeah, if you're going to spend money on ousting people from their houses, then uh, make sure you're just doing it once. 
you don't want to be uh, having to evict people on multiple occasions, which is what will happen if you leave it unpaused, new builds will try and turn up. Okay, this is a connecting road, so uh, what are we talking about here? You're talking about a million and a half to get rid of those two. I am not going to be spending that kind of money willingly. There we go. So much for the stone bridge. It's okay. I'll live without it. Uh, what about going up a little? Because we've got a mountain. Again, not particularly mountainous mountain, but mountain-esque, I think that probably is. All right, good. That's, uh, well, that's something. I need to figure out how I'm going to connect these two together. And obviously, I'm not allowed to delete this piece of road because it's got 768 grand's worth of house on it. That's very unreasonable. Uh, okay, what if I... Now, I believe from a comment in a previous video that uh, if you want to create a level crossing, the way to go is to build the road first and then track over the road, right? If you build the track first and then try and road over the top, you will have less success. So there, you know, as if by magic, that's what we're doing. There we go, and then we'll connect this back up and uh, the game can just be uh, satisfied with a, a job semi well done. It's not pretty, but uh, we will adapt. All right, onwards. More track, more track. That's why you're here, right? Oh, I didn't see that. Well, you're in the way. Can we get underneath it, I wonder? So far, it looks like we can, but this is going to be the longest tunnel ever created. How much do you want to charge me for that? 2.3 million? I dare say that's actually pretty reasonable. Can we? Yeah, we can even we can even stick an incline on that. How about a bit more. Whoa, steady on there. It's back up to the point where we don't need a, uh, a bridge to come out the other side. 1.9 million. Okay, well, obviously the parallel tunnel is going to cost something similar, and you know we get to do something funky in terms of going underneath this uh, oil refinery. Okay, that's entertaining. Uh, it's a lot of money, but I'm going to take it. Right, uh, no, not upwards. We're going down. All right, and I want to do this with as little bridge as possible. Building bridges coming out of tunnels feels off to me. Okay, right, now let's figure out where we're putting the station. I possibly should have done that before that last piece of track. Ho-hum. Uh, right, let's... Uh, yeah, that's good. I like it. And then uh, station me one time. Double track from the get-go. One, one million? I'm not spending a million on a station. Look, you know, I know you're, you're very keen on moving massive mounds of earth around the place, but... Frankly, there are things that I could spend that money on that is much superior. There we go. Let's cut that off from the rest of the universe and uh, and go from there. Right, come on. There we go. Talk to me. 730k. Okay, that's about as good as we can get, so I'm going to go with that. And then hopefully I'll have enough to, uh, to complete. That's the site we want, isn't it? Let's check the previous station. Yeah, left hand side. And the previous station. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter on the previous station. Um, okay, good. Right. Terrific, even. Um, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Wow. Uh, there you go. That's a perfect example of a bit of internal dialogue going on there. I was going, well, hold on. If that's not on the right side, you're only going to have to do it again, aren't you? Uh, so I agreed with that and uh, and then immediately disagreed again. Right, let's check the Lisgard route. Uh, let's have a 
look at the route here. Where's it going? So after the drive, we could hit up, thank you, add station. Uh, first, let's actually put the, put the stop in. We'll, we'll stop, where are you going? You're going that way, so you're coming down here. Let's put a stop in there, and then another one opposite the station. And, you know, my new kind of anti-crash policy means that uh, we are going to avoid, wherever possible, uh, double, well, we're, actually, avoiding is relatively easy. We're not going to double uh, uh, group uh, the station and its and its closest stop anymore. Okay, why have you given me the run around at Green Lane? That shouldn't be the case. Oh, because you've got the stop on the wrong side of the... What's it? That would explain it all, of course. There we go. Green Lane, onto London Road, everybody's happy. Okay, good. How many buses, coaches, whatever the heck we're running here, how many have we got in the service? Suspect it'll just be one. Okay, and you don't have a depot. Where's your nearest depot? Where is your nearest depot? And didn't I just sever some road? I'm pretty sure you did. Yes, I did, I did sever some road. I severed this road here. Okay, right, well, what are you going to do about that? Oh, we're going to improvise. We're going to, we're going to improvise something. Because, you know, whereas uh, the the reasoning that, uh, you know, the, the development team uh, left these primary roads in in the first place, actually, let's not do that, um, left these primary roads in in the first place is uh, is to guarantee that goods could flow rather like the spice from Arrakis, that goods could flow uh, around your, uh, your, your network. How much? 293 grand. Pay attention before you do that in the future. Yikes, what did I just like? Gold-plated road? Seventy-one, hopefully. Oh, I'm, I'm a little less confident about that now. Oh no, I'm more confident about it again. Right, okay, good. And then let's get this track out here. Lest the fools build ahead of me. And let's do something similar on this side. Right, okay, where are we up to? 85 grand left, unpause. Um, I was saying something, I'm sure of it. Uh, yeah, okay, so yeah, you want that road connection because it was making sure that goods could actually flow into your towns correctly. Uh, and, you know, whether you're supplying those goods or the game is kind of shipping them for you automatically, they are fundamentally a good thing because they help your town to grow. Uh, what I need now is uh, an engine shed, ideally in the local area, which I haven't got, so maybe I'll build one at this guard. Uh, and we need a... Uh, a bus depot. I mean, how far is that from this guard itself? Oh, it's not too far at all. Okay, right, cool. In that case, we'll do that as soon as my bank balance shows positive. Yikes, that really was quite a hefty spend. You know, I said before that, you know, it was going to be expensive to continue uh, development. It really is, and you know, let's not forget that out of the, the what, seven, eight million that I just spent, uh, probably a third, if not a half of, uh, of that money was spent on demolishing flaming AI houses. I cannot stress enough how important it is to prevent the AI from building if you're planning to expand out of somewhere. Obviously, had I paid attention to that in the slightest, this would now not be a problem. Uh, right, let's buy one of those, and we want to set you onto the list guard route. Off you trot. Unpause. And then we're going to build a, a train depot up here as well, and we'll get a Mikado running on here. Because any, any excuse to set more Mikados in motion, because they're rather glorious. Oh, no, out of cash again. And that's going to be the story of the game for a little while. So let's advance our speed somewhat. Now, don't get me wrong, every train that comes in makes us uh, a, you know, really rather, rather hefty amount of cash. 
let's do that. And obviously this is temporary, uh, but uh, you know, it's, it's worth doing anyway. Right, let's now add a root. We're not ready for it, but uh, new line please, thank you. So yeah, I mean, so we're we're building the new uh, the new loop here, but uh, there's going to be a period where uh, uh, where we're going point to point services again. And to be honest, I might leave that alone until I've got other loops made because we know that point to point services are profitable. Right, Bexley out to Liscard. All right, uh, let's go Bexlisk for this Bexlisk. All right, and now all I need is however many thousands it'll cost me to uh, to actually buy the uh, the train itself. Uh, let's get a depot on there while we can afford it. Buy trains. Okay, right. So Mikado is, way plenty of money. Okay, and six axle cars are new home. All right, fairly fairly nerve jangling amounts of cash. I want to put five on there if possible. So what's that? Five of your finest fifteens. You're talking about seven hundred and fifty k for that, on top of the seven hundred and fifty k for uh, the engine itself, which is a million and a half. So I'm going to have that. The second the thing ticks to a million and a half, which it won't for a little while, because we're about to hit year end. There you go. That's uh, that's drained some more cash out of the system, but hopefully this should tick up quickly. I could go looking. I could go. I could go looking around and see what's going on. I was actually just hovering over the pause button, hoping to uh, kind of make a ninja purchase. Yeah, let's go watch Mary Port. There we go. That's that's always a, a good course of uh, of happiness generation. How many of you got on board? Forty-seven. Carry more passengers. It will make me more cash. Oh, that's another 700 grand out immediately. What have we got waiting here? 98 waiting for the for the next loop train to come in. You can see why I want to up the uh, up the frequency at which these guys are running, because there is just ridiculous amounts of money to be made in this this taking off in a in a profitable fashion. 1.2, 1.56, oh no, missed it. In fact, that was possibly a train purchase. Let's have a look. Nope, no purchases yet this year. Mm. Come on, come on, come on. We can do it. We, we want like 1.6 million. If you chaps were to get a wriggle on, we could uh, we could get that purchase made and uh, end our story here on a on a high note. That high note being, oh my god, that's a lot of money. Thank you very much. I write my own material. Come on. How difficult is it going to be for you people to just I, don't make me push the loan button. I'm resisting doing that as much as possible. There you go, 1.01 .01 million. Come on. Bring me the cash. It's just teasing me. It's, it, is, it is teasing with, oh, you've so nearly got the money, haven't you? But you haven't. Almost there. Come on. 1.52. I don't want to pause at 1.52. I want to go a bit higher. Well, you can make a quiz show out of this. Waiting for your bank balance to be enough to buy a new train. There we go, 165, that's got to be enough. Hits the pause button, high fives himself on the way back to Liscard to go and buy a new choo-choo. Okay, buy trains, let's go. One of those, and one, two, three, four, five, really? Okay, good. As it turns out, I didn't quite need that amount of money, but, I'd rather have too much money. Uh, where are we? Bexlisk, waiting for a free path, potentially at, uh, at Bexley. So I shall stick a, a signal just outside Bexley to, uh, to help facilitate the smooth transition of this service. Right, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay the, the toll on that one, I'm sure, when the next uh, payment run happens. Yeah, yeah, there we go, 700 grand overdrawn. 
Um, it happens. Okay, so here we go, new train. Terrific, this is exactly what we were after. Something glamorous and splendid and uh, to the smallest town on the map that is not going to pay off in a significant way for a little while. Uh, they do have another coach coming in as well, so that will help generate a bit of cash potentially. But obviously nobody waiting just yet. Okay, thanks very much. That'll wrap it up for this time. Uh, I've been Colonel Failure. This has been Train Fever. Uh, and next time around... Uh, what are we going to do next time around? We're going to continue this loop. Uh, we'll continue out to, to Worksop, which should be a lot cheaper. Um, so I'm going to uh, wait until the, the, you know, the cash ups itself. I think we can probably do it for a million. What do you think? How much is the station going to cost? Let's price that just ever so briefly now. Two tracks, 300 and something, what are we looking at? Oh, it can be done for 200 grand. Piece of cake. Yeah, all right. So, uh, tune in, and uh, uh, yeah, we'll build another station, continue the loop onwards, then we just got Guildford to go, and then uh, we'll come back out. Do we want to come back out through Loftus or Neston or neither or both? Find out next time. Thanks for watching. I've been Colonel Failure. Talk to you soon. Cheerio.